New on Fox 13 News Live at 5.30, the city of Midvale is again looking at its partnership with the Unified Police Department and has voted against its proposed budget with the department of more than $11 million. Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph spoke with city leaders about why they're not happy with the services. He joins us live in studio to explain. Spencer. Bob, well, right now, the Unified Police Department serves the unincorporated areas of Salt Lake County, along with Copperton, Holiday, Kearns, Magna, Mill Creek, White City, and, of course, what we're talking about today, Midvale City. Today, I spoke with the city manager, who outlined some of their issues. Since its formation in 2010, Unified Police have acted as the police department for many across the Salt Lake Valley, including the citizens of Midvale, who have been partners with the department since 2011. But now because of some issues, they're exploring what they can do to make changes for the future. 46% of our general fund um, is, uh, is, law, is our fee that we pay to UPD for law enforcement. City Manager Matt Dahl broke down the numbers. In 2011, Mindale's UPD member fee was just over $5 million. The proposed new number would be $11.7 million, more than doubling in 12 years. Clearly, law enforcement is a very important part of our community, but just like every other part of our budget, cost controls are very important. They're very happy with the officers that serve their community. That's not the issue. We have very dedicated officers. We also receive what are called shared services. Things like human resources, forensics, and large investigations. If we can do those collectively, we should be seeing cost savings. And while we also think that those are part of what helped make this a good service, we also think that that's where we're struggling to achieve some of the cost controls. A memo drafted lists four areas that the city wants to see changes in, asking first that the weight of each member's vote on all issues should be related to their population and financial contributions, modifying the fee formula that hasn't changed since the beginning of UPD, establishing policies based on fund balances and local branding of Midvale officers and patrol cars. But this is preliminary so far. The city council meets Tuesday to finalize these points. So it could range from just sort of saying, you know, we were unhappy with the budget process, but we're going to just sort of continue as, as normal to where maybe we provide more emphasis on those areas where we want to see reform. And while they hope they can work it out. We believe in the system and we're going to work on trying to find a way. I asked the question, what would happen if they couldn't come to an agreement? What it could mean if we run into problems making those reforms is something that we'll have to work out with the council um, in public meetings. And so for a little bit of history, Midvale has also looked at their partnership before. But let's take a look behind me. Initially, the first department that ever left uh, then Salt Lake County, uh, or the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Office was Taylorsville in 2005. Now, Mid uh, UPD was actually formed in 2010, but before that, Cottonwood Heights actually left in 2008, forming their own department. Taylorsville was convinced to come back in 2012, then leaving again in 2020. There have also been a string of departments that have left in 2018 with Harriman and 2019 with Riverton. Taylorsville is the most recent police department to leave Unified Police. Now Midvale City is questioning their future as well. They will send that to their city council, as you heard, tomorrow night, and we will bring you updates as we learn them. For, but for now, live in studio, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.